Hello everyone, I'm back again with another uh, tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to do something very interesting which you may not have seen. So you know, uh, in my previous video I showed you how we can show the default permission and you can show the default uh, admin role. So uh, uh, yeah, the, we are showing the default users from there, from here. So if you have not watched that video, go ahead, uh, go my previous video and watch this tutorial, okay? Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet or join our Facebook group, please go ahead and join and subscribe this channel and let us know how we can do more videos and improve, okay? Thank you guys. And you know, <clears throat> now in this video, what I'm going to do is that if we change this uh, admin users, I should be able to uh, change this uh, based on what you change here. I should show their uh, respective uh, uh, Permission, okay, it's currently or uh, the permission is coming from the admin only so we have to change that so I'm using I view select and I view select has a method uh, They have defined it. So this is only for I view JS as well as I know so you have to write on change So if you do uh, if some uh, if you change the, uh, any of this item here, it will run a method so we can do okay um, change admin so we can run this method when something changes okay and here we can run that okay so one interesting things uh if you already know that's uh, that's great if you don't know so i'm telling you is that okay you see the id so this id is uh, being referenced uh, inside the v model so whenever you change something the id will be changed and it will be assigned uh, to this data model and you can access this inside your um inside this method okay so if i do console.log this third data dot id so we should be able to see the new id based on what we do the changes okay so every time if we do changes we should be able to see the id you see the editor has an id of two admin has an id of one user has an id of um, four so we can see this okay so now what i have to do is that we have to match or find the index uh, of this rule so these uh these are the items in this array so rules array so we have the rules here we have four items here now let's say mm, uh, this is editors okay so we have to go uh we we know the id of this editor is two so we have to match okay what is the id of two okay two so it's uh it's an editor uh okay so it's a rule name is editor you can see here rule name and editor so we have to find the permission for that uh particular admin user and then we have to assign it here okay so that's very simple so uh, we have the uh, id but we don't have the access of the index okay so you see start from zero so you have to find the index based on this id okay so let me show you how you can find this index. you can find it using a for loop okay you can uh, look through the for and then you can find it programmatically but there is something really nice index cs6 index so we can do this okay let's index equal um this dot okay what is the uh array we are uh, we we want to look through so the array is rule so we can say okay this dot rules and we can uh, loop using a uh, special function so find indexes <clears throat> we'll loop through and this is your whole uh, array so you can get the uh, first item as a rule and then you can see okay uh, give me the uh, return me the index where id equal equal sorry where rule dot id equal because id is inside an item so we have to access this dot id we can say rule dot id equal this dot data dot id and then we will be able to see the index okay so this dot uh, we will be able to see this dot data dot uh sorry we will uh, be able to get the index okay so here we go we can uh refresh this page and see if we have the index available now you see uh, editor is two but their index is one oh, so it seems uh, working pretty nice uh, okay so let's go ahead and uh, access the item of this index okay so what is the uh, permission so we have to uh, access the permission so let's uh, permission that access the permission like this so this dot rules and we have the index so we can access the permission and by default only the admin will have permission and all of them are, and the rest of them will have their permission as uh, mm, null so you see we are we're getting null null and null as well so if i do admin we should see the json data so one problem we have and the problem is that um, 
we need to uh, if we, if we don't have you see this is the resources array and see uh, maybe you can see it false as well so one uh, interesting problem is that uh, you see if I give you the permission in, uh, now if I see okay uh, if uh, let me show you the problem here so if I say okay if uh, permission if if you don't have the permission okay if you don't have the permission then I can assign the default copy of the users to okay? get default copy so the problem is we don't have any default copy right so we have uh, because uh, this this was the default copy this is the default copy for everyone if we, if they don't have a permission set up so you mean everything is false no permission given so it's completely fresh okay so the problem is in by default in uh, in created hope what we have done is we have overridden the uh, default permission right we have completely overridden the default permission so what the problem we are facing now is that uh, this resources is now completely corrupted okay completely changed so we have to have a, a fresh copy uh, now so what I will be doing is that I will have a, a new copy of this item it can be done in many other ways as well but at that moment I don't find anything else but resources let's say are fresh okay so or you can say uh, resources uh, default you can call it default resources permission okay so it will uh, be really meaningful so you can say okay the default resource permission is this one so what you can do is uh, if they do not have a permission that mean you can gladly assign this dot resources equal to this dot uh, default permission resource permission okay so they will get the fresh copy but in case if they do have a permission so we have what we have to do is we simply have to do these things so they're very much simple so we have to do okay this dot resources will be the parsed data of uh, permission only we don't have to access this so we have the permission already here it will be just in data so that is the things we just need to do that's all that's uh, super simple okay uh, it's not so much rocket science so if you guys do not understand this logic how it's uh with app happening so just let me know in my facebook group i will try to answer you guys okay so here you go editor and see editor has no rules so we see the fresh uh, rule here it will not be corrupted at any point so i can say editor will access text and then category he can uh, read and write 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 and he can also he cannot delete the tags and category okay so i will not give this to permission and then he can access the home page as well so i will give him access to the home page okay so if i access it and uh, do a refresh now if i select the editor okay i am getting an error or oh, our permission is not defined so i think i have missed spell something so you see this block is running so that's uh, that that, that means everything is working really fine so it should work now you see awesome that perfect we know what rule uh, belongs to home and it's pretty much instant okay that is the beauty of Vue.js also so we should learn Vue.js not yes because Vue is something really awesome okay so guys if you really feel this tutorial is interesting go ahead and share this video with your friends and yeah let us um, help us to get promoted okay so let's give some uh, permission to moderator moderator can go ahead I don't know what is uh what permission to give but let's give him some uh, different users rule and then give him the home page i'm not giving the delayed permission to moderator okay so we have the moderator permission and user will have no permission at all okay so we have a little problem here and um, the problem is okay it seems working I think moderator and the editor has the same permission I'm not really sure if it has the same permission but never mind let's refresh this page if it's okay editor has update okay so let's give him the delete permission as well so okay so I have given editor the delete permission so here we go Okay, one problem we will have is that 
you see I understand what is the problem is that so we have updated already but we have to change the uh, change the new permission so when you do a changes here uh, when I do uh, when I save this permission for example I uh, assign the permission here and then this is the success so I have to change that as well so assign rules is happening in here and I know the ID yeah I only know the ID of the person whom we are assigning so what we have to do is we have to do the same code here and yeah we'll move the same code we have to find out the pra index okay so we have to find out the index uh, of the user and then we have to assign the new permission given using the, this data okay so we can say this dot uh, rules then we can say okay go inside the index and assign the new permission and the new permission will be the new data okay new just when stream fade data so that means we will be able to see the updated data every time we make some update moderator and user you see so if I come to moderator here and editor here and if I simply give him to see okay what the admin users are uh, and you just can see it so that's okay so now if I come here and then to go back I should be able to see the changes so everything is reflecting correctly perfectly and nicely okay so guys thank you for watching this video up to the this part and in the next video we will control uh, the editor whether he can uh, access the page access the resources or not so next video I think will be pretty much important as well so stick with me guys and have a nice time good day